Something strange was happening in my Minecraft world. Every day at 3am, my dog would disappear and I just didn't know why. You see, my dog was a weird one. I'd give him a bone, he'd say woof woof, and we'd go on many different adventures together. You see, there wasn't anything strange about my dog. That is until I started watching him. You see, every night, what I would do is I would finish up from a normal adventure. You see, my adventures would consist of going out into the Minecraft world, searching for loot, searching for resources, always with my trusty dog by my side, because of course, he can help me if I ever get into a crazy situation. But what was weird was when we did our normal nightly routine and I realized that he wasn't always staying home. You see, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This is an example of a normal night for me. I'm coming home, entering my compound, and I'm taking my little dog with me. And of course, I then take him to the kennel. Now, usually my dog doesn't really listen to me that much. I have to get him to go everywhere by forcing him or by feeding him, but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. So I made sure to push him into the panel just to make sure that he was fully inside and that I wasn't going crazy because I could swear that I saw him sneak out every night and I wanted to make sure that this night he was actually pushed in by myself. So I put the dog into waiting mode. I then closed the fence and then of course I did my nightly routine. And with him locked inside, I then headed back inside to my house and headed off to bed. As I was heading to bed, I wanted to do something different. I coded it so that my bed would wake me up exactly at 3am. And as you guys can see, I was excited with full of energy because I wanted to see exactly what my dog was up to. I looked outside and the moon was just about to go down, which means that we were still up late at night, which was good for me because I could really figure out exactly what my dog was up to when I wasn't watching him. So... This was the golden point. Just in case there were any crazies outside, I quickly equipped myself with a diamond sword and ate some golden apples. And when I went outside, what I found was completely shocking. First of all, my dog was doing something interesting. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. You see the bones right there? He didn't even take them. This was truly surprising. You see my dog, he loves bones. But what was even surprising, more than that, was what I found next. I walked over to the kennel and to my surprise, my dog was gone. He was completely gone, out of his place that he usually sleeps in. My dog is always there. I knew something was up anyways, so now it was my attention to figure out exactly where he had gone and what he was up to. But it was confusing at first because I'd never actually noticed that he would have left. And since he wasn't a human of some sort, it would mean that either someone is taking more nightly adventures or he's aware and he's doing this himself. Now, one of the first clues that I actually managed to find was right outside of my house. You see, when we came out, we didn't notice it now, but looking back at the gameplay, you can see that there was something strange. There was a strange path leading out from the window, and it led out back to the farm. I'm not sure exactly what this consisted of, but it looked like that someone had been injured. Was it my dog that had been injured? Was it a neighbor that had been injured? Was it a skeleton? I had no idea. All I knew that I had to do was to follow this to see where it could lead. You see, this was the only lead that I had. This was the only clue that I had to potentially finding out what my dog was up to. And I was very determined to making that happen. The next thing that happened, so as I was walking through the night, placing these torches down, lighting up the area, I managed to come across this little girl. Now, you don't know who this girl is. This is Amanda the Adventurer, and she is from a horror game. But what's crazy is that she was down. And at first, I couldn't figure out why until she said this. She said that there is a dangerous dog. Now, at first, I wasn't thinking about my dog until I realized that's what I was looking for. And the fact that he wasn't at home and the fact that he doesn't listen to me means maybe that he was some kind of werewolf or some kind of crazy dog. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on, but I knew that I had to get to the bottom of this. So what I did now was I followed the path going on. You see, Amanda was just potentially the first victim. What I encountered next was truly, truly terrifying. This dog had been up to no good all whilst I was asleep, and I had no idea as to how long this was going on for. The next thing I encountered is about to be quite insane. Right here is Ryder from Paw Patrol. I don't know how he managed to make it into the Minecraft world, but he seemed to be a victim of my dog too. I don't know what was going on, but he said that dog is evil. Quite concerning, because he's a dog himself. So why would a dog attack another dog? Either way, I was still on the hunt to see exactly what was going wrong, because as more and more that I looked into this, the more and more information that I found. So what I did 
was I continued on this path to see if there were any possible more clues as to where he would have gone or to why he's acting like this. None of this was making sense. So I continued on and to my surprise, I actually managed to find a familiar face. You might not know who this is, but this is Buzz Lightyear. Now, all these crazy characters must have come from somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but they all had experiences with the dog and it seemed like they were all upset with him. Buzz Lightyear said someone needs to stop him. So what I did was I continued on this journey with my arrow in my hand and I fired it off into the distance just in case there was a dog watching nearby. You see, I didn't know if this was my dog, but I'm pretty sure it was considering he wasn't nearby at 3 a.m and that he hadn't been listening to me recently. So we continued on our journey. And what we found next was pretty scary. You see, the dog somehow had managed to attack another friendly face. And this was no ordinary friendly face. This was the face of a popular creator known as Athmal. Now, I don't know where the dog was. I know that Athmal was still alive. And she said, please help us because the dog had clearly injured her. So whatever this dog was up to, it was clear that it was some kind of infection or some kind of curse or maybe the dog was just inherently evil either way i needed to figure out exactly where the dog was so it was my destination now see if this dog was inside this creepy cave that we just managed to find i don't know that much about minecraft but i know enough to know that when a cave looks like this it's clearly man-made clearly some kind of creation has formed this cave for whatever use i don't know so I ventured on into the cave warily because I knew that there could be any kind of danger coming around the corner. So after eating my golden apple and equipping my sword, I saw what was quite a scary sight. Immediately inside the cave, there were gravestones and villages that had been previously destroyed trying to get in here. I'm not sure what kind of characters were in here, but it looked like some kind of weird place. I'm not exactly sure how long it has been like this before but there are around 20 different people that seemingly have died in this minecraft world and every single one of them had a gravestone commemorating their life it was truly a spectacular thing and what was odd was that this was most likely where my dog was going because what i'm about to show you is even crazier because my dog was up to something weird so once i looked at the gravestones and once i realized that this dog was truly up to some kind of mystery or some kind of evil that had been cursed it was my job to figure out how i could get him out of here and how i could get the curse off his back so what i did next was i continued the journey down because i couldn't see my dog and maybe all the stories that i have heard were untrue until i found the leader the leader and the person who had started it all my dog was there amongst the others being told what to do by some crazy insane wild demon dog i'd never seen anything like it before but that wasn't going to stop me from attacking and getting my dog back so what did i do i looked the dog in the eye and they started to attack and i pulled my bow back and struck the first dog i'm not even sure which was mine anymore but i did know that i didn't want to get hit by the demon dog because it was clearly larger and clearly stronger than the other ones and if the other ones were following it they were sure to make sure they avenged it so I did what I could and I used my bows and arrows and struck them from a distance. Every time I struck the dogs, they whimpered. Though this wasn't something I would usually do, it was effective because I needed to get rid of these cursed dogs and rid the world of this plague. So I killed the main dog and then I looked at the other demon dogs that were following it and used my golden apples and managed to get them out as possible. But to be honest, as long as the demon dog was gone, I was happy with that.